Hi guys, Cynthia here. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified anytime I put up a new video. And if you're not new to my channel, hi guys, thank you so much for coming back. I have a very large Sephora haul. This has been accumulative because I've just been collecting things here and there. I kind of feel like in my personal opinion, like when I go and watch a haul, I like it to be a big haul because I like the people to be like, I got this, I got this, and then, and then you know, and then you make a list as as you watch. So I just wanted to like hold up for a while and like, you know, just like casually bring you this haul and um, it's a lot of stuff. So uh, just like, I guess, get a drink and uh, a snack because it's going to take us some time. So as you can see, <laughs> so as you can see, my bag is pretty stocked. Um, basically, I got a lot of things that I've been um, running out of and things that I've just like wanted at the same time. Um, and so yeah, so I'm just going to share them with you now. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start right from the very beginning here. Um, I got another Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown because without it, I don't know. I may or may not pass out and die. I don't know, but you always got to have your brows on. Like sometimes when I don't do makeup, I just do my brows and I feel like a whole new world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a whole new person. So um, I can never run out of the brow wiz. I think I have like a few stocked like back there because I needed it so bad. Um, this is by Guerlain. This is the black lash dress mascara i love 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 this and if you follow me on snap you would have seen me applying this you would see me talking about this because i absolutely love this mascara um if you want to follow me on snap this is it right over here but anyway i love the the little handle here and check out the wand itself it's so so beautiful um but anyway I absolutely love this mascara. It's not clumpy. It doesn't like flake on the face, which is really, really a plus because I find that that happens a lot when I use mascaras. I always find that I get disappointed by just the fallout that they give and it just makes me angry. Anyway, um, what else do I have here? Oh, I got this. This is the new NARS Blanc de Sable. Um, I don't, uh, that's a highlight palette, okay? <laughs> um, so... I really love NARS. I love their packaging. I think NARS is one of my favorite brands right now. I just think that they're just always just amazing. So it comes with a very large mirror, and then it's got these beautiful highlights. I think they're absolutely stunning. I'm just going to swatch them for you guys. Um, oh, yeah. They're buttery. They're creamy. They're very, very much NARS standards in that they are going to be beautiful highlights. And, huh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was expecting it to be like. Just gorgeous, not glittery, just giving you a beautiful glow. I just really think that this is such a nice palette because you can keep it inside of your kit and it's got a, a, like a highlight for just about every skin tone. So I was really, really happy about this. I will probably use be using this for my kit, um, if not for me sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. It really just depends. But I have a few uh, proms that I'm going to be doing coming up. So uh, yeah. You know how that goes. Um, and then I have another Brow Wiz because I am addicted to it. So here's Brow Wiz number two. Um, then I actually am wearing it right now. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer Anti-Crease Corrector. And this is in the color Caramel. You guys know I love my um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And that's also in the color Caramel. So I've just been living and breathing. This is so fantastic. I put it all over my T-zone and I see matte pretty much all day, which is really a change for me because like I can get really, really greasy really, really fast. And I was thinking about stepping up, um, going up to the color brighter than this just to add some more brightness. Like I need any more. I mean, you guys are probably like, girl, you is bright. Relax, relax. But I have this like fascination with just being like, you know, like brightening, like crazy, like lights or whatever. <laughs> Um, then I actually have this, uh, Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I have been using this for quite a while now. Um, I like it. I do. I just feel like my pores still show through. Um, uh, I'm going to finish it because it's just, I don't want to return it because it's not like terrible and it's, but it's just not everything on earth. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but it is getting the job done. I do feel like, I don't know. I, guys, I don't know. I feel like nothing's gonna get rid of these pores. I feel like, you know, we can have a sewing pool party. We can just all just like dive in. Uh, the next thing I got is the new Laura Mercier Translucent Deep, Medium Deep Powder. 
Um, I'm excited about this. I really just wanted to use it just just to cut my jawline because I feel like when I use the white one, as you can see, it is a pretty harsh, which I love sometimes, but sometimes it can come off a little drag queenish, and sometimes, you know, you don't, you don't always want to look like a drag queen, just like every day, but like not every other day. I don't know. You know like, but anyway, yeah, so I got that and I'm excited to really try it. Um, it's got really, really great reviews and, um, yeah, I just know that people are asking for, like they were wanting one just a step lighter, but whatever like come on guys let's just be happy that they made one for dark skin because I find it's really hard to um to have like really high-end companies like make stuff for you know dark complexion the next thing I got um so like I said this has been cumulative so this is just stuff that has just been sitting in there for a while so I got the new um what is this the Kat Von D holographic highlight palette because I'm addicted to highlights I also got one of these for my giveaway that I will be um, hopefully I just have like a few more things I want to buy and then I'm going to put it in as you can see it's just it's just really beautiful packaging I really really thought it was so cute and it's got these gorgeous little highlights I'm just gonna oh snap they're creamy oh and they're really beautiful I love like the duo chromeness of it I wouldn't call it holographic because a holographic is like more of a rainbow spectrum and this does not do that it just it does have duo chrome so that's different it's just showing like a few colors at once, but it's definitely not like a rainbow, like what a holographic is. If you guys don't know what holographic is, I would go look at Christine and Simply Known Logical because she will school you on what holographic is. <laughs> um, the next thing I got is the um, All Nighter Makeup Spray. I love this stuff. Mine is empty, so I bought a new one and it's out here because I've been using it. I do like the newer packaging. I am a little confused um, by it because like it's in cursive now and so it's like, you know, I don't know, you got to read harder. <laughs> Who wants to read? No one wants to read, okay? But anyway, um, yeah, so I got that because I really am loving it. The next thing I got, guys, I really love this. Um, this is by Guerlain. This is in the color 1. This is the color uh, 011 Beige Lingerie, it's called. This is amazing. If I can get it out, right? Mm. So this, basically, um, this is supposed to be hydrating and it gives you like shine or whatever so I the woman the girl on woman was there so she was just kind of like hey you should get this stuff and I was like whatever you say because I'm addicted to girl on anyway but I just love the packaging in it and look at this beautiful color it just gives you a soft color it's not like super pigmented but it's going to give you some really nice hydration and a little bit of shine if you just want to throw on a lip liner and um and then this on top yeah buddy yeah but the next thing i got um this was for i mean i got this like i'm telling you everything's accumulative that's why you're, you're probably looking like girl this is old yes this is the ambient light hourglass strobing lighting blush palette and this was in their holiday collection and guys one week i went and it was there and then i was like i'll just get it later like i don't need to spend my money now like blah, blah, blah. like you know you like talk yourself out of it and then you go back and you're like where is it i just saw it four days ago so that's what happened to this thing and i was like guys i need you to go get it so somebody was nice enough to go get it in the back for me thank you sephora employee and i just thought these are just beautiful these are just their blushes and they give you a beautiful highlight and i'm just gonna swatch them for you and i was just thinking this would be really nice as like a blush topper because i find like you know you can see kind of like like where my blush is and where my highlight is there's like kind of like I guess stripey look I was hoping that this would avoid that stripey look because um you know it'll give me some color and some brightness and I just think that they are stunning and again not very glittery that's not true they do have a little bit of like I can see glitter like more than any like there's no glitter in any of these highlights but I can see the glitter in those so either way I just thought it'd be a really good like highlight for when I don't want to like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying, you know, like when you can, you see the difference, you see what I'm talking about. So yeah, so I got that because I wanted that. <clears throat> Next I got, which I used to use this a lot and, um, excuse me, <coughs> and then I ran out and I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then I just started like trying other foundations and I've just gotten really addicted to the Chanel one and then these two, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Marc Jacobs and I got addicted to the, you know, the Ready Set Gorgeous and uh, and, and this is the Chanel one I'm really loving right now too. So I just like, just was like, I'm not going to buy it. But then I was in the store and I was like, what? I remember you and I love you and why aren't you in my life again? 
So yeah, so this is the Studio Skin Foundation and I got it in 4.0 and I just think it's just a really, really great foundation. I remember like liking what my face looked like when I had this on. So I was like, yes, I'm going to try it and buy it. I'm hoping that it's not too dark. It doesn't, it looks a little dark, but we'll pray on that. <laughs> Y'all will have your fingers crossed for me, won't you? Um, so yeah, so there that is. The next thing I bought, um, I got the Narcissist um, Cheek Palette, and this is in um, Unfiltered 1. Um, let's see. But you know what? Quite honestly, I don't think you need this palette. I think, like, I know NYX has a palette that has, like, all of these colors, but I am just addicted to this. I just think it's really good for the kit, and I'm just, like, I'm a huge supporter of NARS. I love NARS. NARS is like just my favorite thing. So I'm just going to swatch the bottom row because these three, whoa, 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 whoa. yes, these three, oh my God. I didn't swatch any of this stuff on store and I've just been holding on to this stuff, guys. Like no joke, holding on so that I can swatch it for you guys. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh. These three are absolutely So, you know, it's just going to be, it's just, I'm excited. I'm really excited about this palette. I've been like living and, and like, I've been like waiting to <laughs> open this stuff because I like to swatch it with you guys and get first impressions like with you guys where I swatch it and I get as excited as, you know, with you guys. So I didn't really touch it, but it's been sitting in my room for like two months, just like in a bag, like, and yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, um, then what else did I get? Um, oh, I got this. I thought, oh, I dropped something. I thought this was a really cool deal. This has got like the Fab Five makeup sponges, blah, blah, blah. This is Beauty Blender. It was $75 and considering these are over $20 a piece, I just thought that it was a really good deal and I am in love with Beauty Blenders and my Beauty Blender has seen better days. Uh, if you find Dirty Beauty Blenders disgusting, I would like look away. But mine is like, it's starting to break and whatever. And I do have more back there, but I get really... <laughs> Whatever, I'm a beauty blender hoarder is what it boils down to. At the end of the day, I needed more because I was worried about using one of those and then whatever. <laughs> I bought another um, clear gel by Anastasia. Um, I really love this stuff. This stuff holds on to your eyebrows for life. I have not been using it because I've been using the new Charlotte Tilbury one and that has been giving me everything because it's got a little bit of pigment in it and it's such a tiny little wand. Um, it's going to be in my other haul, but I want to show you guys now because I really do think that this is just incredible look at this tiny little wand i love it love it love it i'm able to do like these little see i can make like my little fronts look kind of messy i love love that and this guy's been doing it but i really love um this like brow setter as well um okay next i also received what is this oh this is just an 100 point perk this is a like mark jacobs mascara um, that I got. Oh, and this, guys. This is the Busy Art palette. I got one for me and one for my friend Elise. And this is in Theory Mix. I think that's the name. I have no idea. What is the name of this guy? Theory, the Theory palette. And check it out. Wait till you see this. Oh, do you not see the stunningness of this palette? Um, it's got three shimmers and three mattes. And I just think, like, oh my god, and it's but buttery, buttery. Oh, uh, so I mean, let's just talk. I'm just going to swatch these little bad boys right there. As you can see, they are just stunning and beautiful. And I just really thought this palette was gorgeous. And I've always, I want, I want the big Viseart palette, but like, you know, when you're just like, I don't want to put that kind of money in, you know, but I just think that these are great because not only are they great to travel with, but they're like a little bit more affordable and you really are just getting a, a thousand looks in one tiny little one without spending a trillion dollars, you know, even though let's keep it real, it was not that cheap. Nothing is cheap at Sephora. So just saying, throwing that out there again. Um, last but not least, I got another creamy radiant concealer because I run out of this guy all of the time. And I really like it. And I think, well, what I've been doing is not I think. I've been throwing this uh, this one on underneath and then just adding a little bit more brightness with this one just because I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive with that business. And I think that is it for my haul. Um, except for, yep, I got another Brow Wiz. Yeah, I did. I did, guys. I think I got three in this haul. I'm, like, that scared of, like, running out. 
Yeah, that's pretty bad. But anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I will try to link everything down below. I, I know I sped through this, and I'm really, really sorry if you guys are like, whoa, why are you running through it? I just didn't want this to be a very, very long video. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out, guys. Um, it gets me so that uh, other people in the internet can find me if you like if you like my video um and anyway so i will see you guys next time and again if you want to follow me on any other social media everything is linked down below and i hope to see you guys there and i'll talk to you later bye